Hello everyone, today I bring to you an interesting and a very easy method of making money with the use of AI. And the trick we're gonna use is creating illusion. And as you can see, a lot of content is being made upon AI which create illusion. And a lot of people make good amount of money by either making videos, content, or even selling people their illusion images. For example, you can work for a famous celebrity and create images for them. Because you never know, you might catch a big fish. And celebrities and famous people always like their art. Now let's get straight into our video and the tool which we're gonna use is Hugging Face Illusion Diffusion. I'm sure you have already heard of it. If you have not, this is one of the best tool you can use to create illusion images. Now I will teach you everything you need to know about this tool and how to use it to get the perfect results. But for that, we need to have an image first. And how I would normally get an image is I would look for a higher quality with a lot of details. For example, I just searched the Kid Leroy. So let's have a look at this and find the best image which we can. I think this image looks great, so I'm gonna use this. You can always follow along with the video and use the same pictures to see what sort of results you get. And now right clicking here, I will click copy this image. I will not save it on my computer. I'll just copy it so it will save a lot of time. If you click on this third icon here on Hugging Face, you will then be able to paste the image by clicking here. Isn't that cool? You didn't have to save the image and drag it here. It saved you all the trouble. And the next thing we have to do is choose a value for our illusion strength. Always use higher strength for images with real people, real objects and higher quality. So let's try something around 2.2 and that looks good. And I'll also show you examples where you will have to use a lower strength. But for now, let's keep it here and give a prompt. Now, unlike other image generation AIs, for illusion, you don't have to give a very good written prompt. You just need to describe the background or scenario where this illusion will be created. As you can see, I gave a very brief prompt saying that mountain view at sunset. So let's click on the run button and wait for our generation to complete. Now here is our very first creation and you can see we have gotten the exact background we wanted with an illusion created of the Kit Laroi. Now you can try different versions and see what you like better. For example, we can lower the strength of the illusion and once again try, but we can also try using a different prompt. So I gave it a different prompt and illusion strength and why not have a look at this. Now once again, you have gotten a very interesting result. Now this might not look exactly like him, but that's the point of using illusion. This will make you think and you will not be able to tell at first sight that this is an image of some celebrity. And let's try some more of these images so we can see how it performs. And like I said before, I will also show you some images where you will have to use a lower strength. And here we have some arts. What I want you to look for is sort of an art where you don't have a colorful background such as there is an empty white background here and there is a lot of detail on the character's hair this is a perfect example of something which we will use with a lower strength so let me just quickly take a screenshot of this image by going back to illusion diffusion ai i will delete this image by tapping on the cross and paste this one and now what i will do is lower the strength to around 0.9 percent and change our prompt and now you can see i have used a lower strength for this one and we have gotten such a cool illusion where the tree is making the shape of the person and there is a cool background with a sunset. So that's how you can create illusions of artworks. The keynote is use a lower strength and also an image without a background. A black or white background is always suitable. Now let's try something with a red background, for example this image. So I will copy this image from here, go to illusion diffusion and then I'll simply paste it here again. And to demonstrate to you, I will use even lower strength this time. Now you can see why I was saying to always use an image with a white background. As we have used a red one, we were not able to get a good illusion. So that was just for demonstration and to show you exactly what sort of images you need, which are best and the best settings for this tool. And that was all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.